We are here at the SHOT Show 2016 <laughs> Mounting Solution Plus and I got the head designer, the whole brain operation behind the TWS. And uh, Nelson, let's start talking about uh, first the Gen 3 Rayleigh dust cover. What's new? Okay, Rob. Well, uh, first, thanks for having me. It's an absolute fantastic pleasure to finally get together and discuss these products with you. Sure. The, uh, <clears throat> this new Generation 3 dogleg rail has a number of differences between mm -hmm. our previous Generation 2 products. Principally, what we've done is, with the increasing popularity of the 1 to 4 power mm -hmm. uh, variable scopes, the longer scope overhang created a problem where when you go to open the cover, sure. the front of the scope bumps into your, your rail surface or your sight block. So we wanted to uh, <coughs> alleviate that problem. And to do that, the best solution we found is that we can actually make a removable top cover with using an AR-15 type takedown pin. So we can pop the cover open okay. and now mm -hmm. the cover comes off completely. Wow. Okay, So you don't need an extra $200 quick detach mount on your scope, you can just pull everything off complete as one unit. So if someone will be really fancy, they can they can theoretically run the little red dot on the one dust cover and then they can have the scope or other Absolutely. optics on the other dust covers and this system will hold zero basically Absolutely. by switching the, the dust cover part. Uh, that is correct. What What is the retail price on the dust cover? Retail price on this dust cover is $170. And, and it comes with all the attachments that's for correct. mounting? Okay. That's correct. It comes with the hinge base adapter mm -hmm. at the front, which allows you to attach this cover in. It comes with a quick detach pin, the revised geometry uh, cover release button, and basically everything you need to plug it in and be off to the range in, in minutes. Nelson, when this is going to be released to the market? It's available now. It's available now. It's available so now. Ship We're it. shipping now. No. Sweet, but that's not the only yeah. new no. item yeah. from uh, TWS. What, that's what right. you got here? Uh, there's more, as they say. Wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're not the Shamwar guy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got our new Generation 3 handguard as well. Mm -hmm. And it's a little different than most of the handguards you're going to find out there in the market today. The first difference uh, to our Generation 2 handguard is that we've designed this to accept the M-Lock uh, rail system. Okay. I almost hear the guys asking, what about key mod? Key no key mod, we, we, no key mod. we looked at okay. both systems and we felt that the M-Lock was the, the most effective solution sure. for this application. Sure. So that's what, we're, that's what we're running with and we won't have a key mod available. From, I'm having, I'm holding my hands, guys, the cut open uh, rail. Uh, tell me, this is kind of interesting system, what you, what you did here. Uh, on the back of the receiver, there is a, basically a double wedge, two screws, which are expanding yes, and yes. Uh, creating the friction point, hold over the point in the back of the receiver. That's but correct. that's not, not everything. You also have a clamp on the barrel yes. up here. So, and then uh, what about that front retainer? Handguard. Do you have to cut it out or just the sling loop portion just of a it? Sling loop yeah, the retainer out. itself can stay. My personal preference is I just delete it all together. So once I get a rifle converted into this particular configuration like this, I don't see any particular reason why I would want to go back to the wood. Hold on. So I got just a big bulb coming out right now. <laughs> so you're telling me that this is probably for the guys who have partially converted Saigas a freaking awesome solution yeah. because partially yes. converted Saiga does not have the front handguard retainer. That's correct. So That's correct. you don't need that to have that rail on. Yes. So that could be an awesome option That's for right. those guys. That's right. So okay. that'll work on the 7.62x39, the 545x36. Will not work on the 308 yet yeah. because it's got a tapered barrel and so it causes a bit of a problem right here where we want to clamp onto that barrel. And what would be the price point for this? Price point for this guy is 295 So it's a little bit it's, it's a little more yeah. it's a, right it's a little more expensive but it's, it's absolutely a premium system it also includes in there the replacement gas tube so guys when you do these kinds of conversions you know, you got to start breaking the wood off of your uh, mm -hmm. of your factory original guide tube and it's kind of a mess so we include a precision finely machined piece in there for you so it comes with everything it comes with comes that with replacement gas tube uh, all the mounting brackets do you have any rail sections included or that's no we no. don't we don't have rail okay. sections included that's okay. yeah, we have no idea what someone's going to want to run and this thing ships as of right now too 
This one starts shipping at the end of next week. End of the so when we'll be back from the shot show. That's correct. This so when that video will be released, guys, basically this rail should be shipping out. That is correct. Awesome. One last detail we didn't touch on is at the bottom here we've got a, a Preston right. steel mm -hmm. 90 degree indexable sling loop mount. Right there. Very nice. Keeps it from getting wound up on you. And uh, it accepts the cleaning rod and you can put the bay on it. That is correct. All works with it. Right? All works. No, no All issue. works. All right, guys, that's it. Please let me know if you have any questions. We'll take them back to the Nelson and we'll get you the answers. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show.